Hello everybody and welcome to my 13th Microsoft Access 2013 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how you can add criteria around dates and numbers in your Access queries. Uh, so I'm going to copy a query, uh, in fact I'm just going to create a whole new query. Um, so let's go to create and then query design. Uh, I'm going to put in the sales and I'm going to put in the users uh, and I've put in users twice by accident so let's just remove one of them. Uh, my user ID is already connected to my user ID so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, what I want to do is I just want to list all of the users that uh, came in on a specific day. So let's put in my username and then let's put in my sale date uh, and uh we then want to put in some criteria for our date uh so in order to do this we are going to put them in hashtags rather than the quotation marks uh and we're just going to put the date in here so uh let's put first uh let's put today's date so 5th of january 2014 uh and when we run this query so let's save it so uh today's uh, uh, customers press OK uh, and then let's run it and you see that the only entry we've got for today is for myself uh, if we go into all my sales and we look at it then you can see that this is correct uh, there's only one sale um, if we go into design view then let's change it to tomorrow and then run this and you'll see that it brings through Bruce Smith twice uh, and this is because he's got two different entries on that day so when we look at this we've got Bruce Smith on the 6th here and on the 6th here so we'll put him in twice because there's two entries for him um, in coming tutorials I'll show you how you can uh, get around that um but for now uh let's just save that one uh and go back into our design view so what i want to show you is uh how you can use the greater than or equal to uh so if we put in a greater than at the start and then let's put in today um so these are sales that are in the future so obviously it's not a very relevant thing because you wouldn't normally sell something in a future day but um that's just where i've put my data in funky um so greater than 5th of the 2nd 2014 uh, and we view this and it's going to bring through anything with a sales date higher than that date um and just because of avoid confusion let's put the sale id in as well um there we go and then let's run that again uh, and you see you've got all the different set sale ID numbers for anything past that date similarly we can put less than before it uh, and then view that and that's going to show any that are in the past um, and if we wanted to show less than or equal to then we just put less than or equal to in here uh, and view this and then that's going to bring in the same ones as well and similarly you can do greater than or equal to um, you can also do two little arrows like this and if we if I show you what this does then it's going to bring through all the sales that don't equal what I've put in here so doesn't equal and then that date so that's how you can do a not equal to um, and that is how you would do it with dates let's say we want to do it with numbers let's say we want uh, Let's get rid of the, let's keep the sale date in uh, and then let's put in the user ID and we want the user ID or let's put in the user's age. So we want any sales for users that are older than 30 um, and let's run this and it's going to bring through all the users that are older than 30 and what sales they've had. Um, so that is and then with them you just put greater than equal to less than all the same ones that we've been doing already 
that's how you use dates and numbers in your criteria and also how you can use the greater than equal to etc uh, and that, i'm going to finish going through criteria for the moment i'll come back to it later when we start looking at some more complex criteria um when we use the build tool uh, but for now in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how you can use the totals row uh, so thanks for listening uh, if you're enjoying the tutorials then please subscribe or check us out on the facebook page that's in the link uh, and hope to catch you in the next tutorial